hey you guys welcome back to my channel and to another podcast edition i'm doing this podcast edition because i have a reason i'm going to explain to you later in the video but i quickly want to come out here and speak about the ndc situation you know the acting md also acting a movie for maybe amvca he became a Nollywood actor when he's been probed about the money that has been missing. And also, I'm going to touch a little bit about the first female combat pilot, Tolu Lopwe Arutile, and a message I saw after her demise. And Before I go into the video, I want to quickly give you a rundown of what has been happening to me and why sometimes you don't see me on air. I enjoy being on YouTube. The problem is that most time I'm really tired, I'm really weak and it's because of my hyper thyroidism if you know anyone that suffered from hyperthyroidism or have dealt with it you will know that it's not something easy it's really really bad the symptoms are so 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 bad the heart palpitation the fatigue the insomnia everything combined together it makes me so weak that some days i'm just lying there because i can't even speak because my heart is beating so fast it's it's just it's it's a lot guys and i've been on it for like five years i'm supposed to go under the knife in may 14th of may this year but unfortunately it was cancelled because of the pandemic there's nothing i can do my medication seems not to be working and i think it is the reason why i got really sick with the virus when i was sick when it first started so i believe it is because the medication that i'm taking sometimes make my white blood cells so low that my immune system is just down and because of because the medication is not correcting it they want to you know do the surgery and take out the swollen nodules anyway guys i don't want to bore you with all this medical thing i will try and make a video if you are interested to know more about this thyroidism goiter and all of that anyway i want to quickly go back and talk about tolulo where arotile the bravest woman she was the first combat pilot and few days before her demise she was on a mission to face Boko Haram and she came back successfully but unfortunately this young lady had an accident that was what has been put out there that she had an accident and it was a classmate that was rushing to say hello to her that crushed her and after eating her the, the driver went over her. Uh, you know, the story changed a little bit. Why I'm speaking about this is not because I want to give you the rundown because I know a lot of you hear about it. And if, unfortunately, you didn't know about her, she's somebody that needs to be celebrated, even though I didn't know anything about her until her death. But this young lady was so brave and... The story, the way it happened, there is a lot of story out there. But if you want to know more about it, just put a name in Google and you're going to see the story that the Navy put out, you know, saying that this is what had happened to her. I'm telling you the story did not add up for me. It's like a lot of questions. The story they put out there, it, to me, there is so many holes in that story that I was left with so many questions unanswered because... They said the person was reversing at what speed is this person reversing to have crushed her and you know having a blunt force trauma to the head at what speed is this person driving and is Tolu Lopwe wearing a headphone for her not to hear the vroom of the car when the car is reversing back i don't know maybe it's just me but that is not why i'm making this video why i'm making this video is the uh, a post that I saw on Twitter that really got me so angry about the thinking and mentality of a lot of Nigerian, especially young Nigerian men. Sometimes when I see things like this, I wonder who raised them, who bathed them, who raised them to believe this is the kind of the mentality you should have. And this tweet come from a guy. This guy said, I'm going to post it. That's why I said, this Tolulope situation really aggravated me, makes me angry, and makes me look at the Nigerian Navy like, 
do you guys think we are fools? Do you think we are stupid? And when they interview the sister, you know, the undertone from her interview is telling me that this sister have the same questions that I have, but she can't go further with it. Anyway, guys, this is the tweet that this guy posted. Instead of being at home with a husband, she's flying a helicopter. This is what you get by the so-called gender equality BS. And I'm thinking... You know, when people are taking 20 steps forward, a lot of all these dumb head, work mentality men are taking 20 or 30 steps backward. And this is what happens when some people have this most stupid mentality in the world. This is what happens. This young lady, a brave woman. And I'm happy that the dad said that. He is happy because Tolulope has a personal relationship with God and he believed that Tolulope is in heaven singing, rejoicing, and she is among the angels. I pray that God is going to give them the fortitude to bear this loss and also may the gentle soul of this brave woman rest in peace. I'm going to move on and quickly talk about this NDDC situation. I've seen everything that is going on but because of my health I'm not even interested to talk about their stupidity, the corruption, the embezzlement, whatever it is going on in that God forsaking country. Seriously at this point I'm not hopeful again that something is going to come out of this great country is great in looking at it the resources the you know the things there that could become something for the citizens but because of these greedy people it's as if nothing is going to be done that's why i'm showing you everything going on you can pause and actually see what is going on with these people it's really alarming appalling and really disturbing and while i was watching all of this thing there were some things that really stands out to me a lot of people have made joke of that i will play that for you in a bit of this man you know faking fainting this person is called the md acting md of the nddc and also he became an actor on the spot when he's been probed about the billions of naira that they've squandered they stole this money literally and this man couldn't answer for everything and all he could do is just to fake faint and that is it because of this there will be no more problem so that it doesn't start acting another telemundo for them anyway guys i saw a lot of people making jokes of this situation it looks funny but it is not funny because it's a show of shame and a show of disgrace and i wonder how citizens find this funny instead of really get angry and get on the road and protest against this thing just about last week or two weeks ago acting efcc squandered 50 something point something billion 54 point something billion dollars Minaira, sorry and there's nothing being done about that and this is not the first second third fourth we're airing especially about this administration and a lot of people were making jokes of it it's funny but at the same time it is not when you look deep down and i find it funny that when they are questioning uh one of these people this uh, uh Pabio was saying that it's okay it's okay i'm going to insert few of this video but I want you guys to watch. And there was this particular video I saw on Instagram. Someone actually sent it to me on my WhatsApp. And it was this comedian actually talking literally about how I felt about this situation and the actions and response of youth to everything going on. I'm going to insert the video as well. At the end of it all, I want to hear your opinion about this. Are you feeling angry at all? Are you disturbed? Are you ashamed? for these people or what what are your thoughts let's continue the discussion in the comment section below and on your way out give this video a thumbs up share if you like it with your loved ones and if you haven't please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and i'll see you in the next one bye even the greatest beneficiaries is two people now okay because if you look at your your chairman
2020. We are now in July, so you are not expected to be spending money from budget 2019. It has expired. From where are you going to spend this money you said here on oath that you are preparing to pay students who are on scholarship? Are you aware that every expenditure you make from 31st May till date are not are uh, not excuse me okay it's not ba se so ni ri asa kan wo fi mi leyin le md md e na pa yin de po ah e ya nu se ti ya lo lo wa yo mi leyin ni comrade comrade e gba mi o mo ti di lowo mu ko yo won ko le nu mi e mo gba mi lowo comrade comrade ba se so ri asa ko yo ba se se ni ri asa ko yo o da na nda kuma mo ni nda kuma comrade yo won ko le yin mi e ba be e mo se mo du gbe ba yo wo re but md ah eni to ba da ku eno wo soke <laughs> Come ready for your million. Really? Because you're about to say, Please, sir, what is the difference between NDDC and NCDC? Uh, they didn't very, very clear, you understand? Huh? NDDC is a corrupt NCDC. Why NCDC is a corrupt NDDC? NDDC was set up in the year 2000 by General Olushegu Obasajo to respond to the demands of the population of the Niger Delta. But instead of them to be the Niger Delta Development Commission, they have changed it to Niger Delta Divisional Criminals. The great Kensaro Wiwa will be weeping in his grave right now. Why NCDC? NDDC was signed into law in 2018 by General Mohamed Buhari to protect the interests of Nigerians through evidence-based prevention and disease surveillance. But today, they have changed from NCDC to Nigeria Corruption Development Criminals. It's okay. That is okay. My brother, something is telling me that Nigeria is a CZ film <laughs> and this is just another episode. Please, tell the director to remove me and not the art again. I don't die. Do you know that these people come to us and subscribe us every four years and instead of them to perform for us they keep acting for us and yet we have the remote but we are too weak and myopic to change the channel <laughs> the problem of nigeria is that the population of people that are waiting to steal are more than the population of people that are stealing already what instead of our youth to take up the issue of a fake leader who pretended he was collapsing in the process of interrogation they are busy talking about the big breast in big brother hey! you channel all your attention to a breast that you never suck from <laughs> while our leaders are sucking from our national treasure up your mind. It's okay. So, because you are the acting MD, that's why you're acting for us. Well done, oh. Best actor, AMVCA 2020. Please, if this country is really my father's land, tell them to give me my own share. I want to sell land. We are busy talking about hush puppy. Whereas in Nigeria, we have hush governor, hush senators, hush ministers, hush local government chairman, hush acting MD, hush MDs, hush councillors, hush pastors, hush, hush beasts, hush wicked men, hush many idiots in power. Now, tell me, who is the real hush puppy? I leave that question for my opponent to answer. Hey! But the government of them all, the general overseer of them all, is NAPC. NAPC was set up in 1977 to solve the operational and technical problems of the Nigeria oil and gas industry. But today, it has changed from Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation to Nigeria National Petroleum Criminals. Yes, my brother, do you know that up till now, the case of Yakubu, the former GMD of NAPC, and the case of Deziani is still a misery. In fact, we are tired of anything that has to do with the letter C in this country. And NCDC, NCDC, NAPC, EFCC, ICPC, NCCC, in fact, anything that I have seen in this country should be dissolved because I think the C in them stands for corruption. Hey!
This is the only country where a citizen will cry out because of the mad administration in this country. And when the person is illegally arrested and jailed, his fellow myopic and gullible citizens will be saying, Now nah, good for him. Now nah, let dead this country. Now nah, I need to help us see the top. In a time of critical oppression, every onlooker is either a coward or a betrayer. The youth of this country are in political chains, and yet we are wearing big, big gold chains. Jesus! Oh, my brother, no wonder the late boy like you said, education equipped us to fight evil, and that anything that is evil must be fought, whether moral, political, or social. At this point, I'll leave you with the words of the great Chinue Achebe. Indeed, there was a country.